Ladies and gentlemen, now you may do this already. You might have heard of it. You might have no idea what I'm talking about. But it essentially when you take something that normal speed and it ramps down to slow-mo or the opposite something that's already in slow-mo and it ramps up to normal speed or even faster. It looks awesome. <laughs> What's up guys, Devinson here, welcome back to the brand new exciting tutorial. It's a great way to stylize your edit. This technique was used this particular way. We are going to be checking out after effects and more specifically speed ramping within after effects. Now I know you guys should know how to speed ramping Adobe Premiere Pro. But after effects is completely different. So I wanted to jump into some advanced techniques that I use when I speed ramping in Adobe After Effects. Because when you speed ramping in Adobe After Effects, it's so good. Hold on your breath till you jump the fire. We'll just sit and wait till you see me. So first started, we need to understand how the speed ramping works with After Effects. I have this clip right here and all I have to do is right click on this clip and go to time and then select time remapping. What that does is actually it's two keyframes that you can see one at the beginning and one at the end. Now in the simplest term, if we drag this keyframe to the left and play this back, you'll see that it actually speeds up. But what happened when it goes to the end of that keyframe? Well, the clip stops because since that keyframe was the end of our video. If you bring this to the left, there's going to be nothing playing after this fact. So you can just drag this down. But let's understand this a little bit further by going to Graph Editor. Right here by clicking this button. You can instantly view this graph and there's a bunch of different view modes that you can enable. So I have the show selected properties and show graph editor set selected. And right here on the next one, I also have auto selected graph. But you can edit the speed graph. You can show a reference graph. You can pretty much do anything you want. So I would recommend clicking on edit speed graph. That way you can see the actual speed that is happening. And you can also go to the value graph to see it on the linear scale where it shows you the range over time. This is the beginning of the clip. That's the ending of our clip. But let's start to look at our keyframes. So right click on our first keyframe here and go to keyframe assistant and go to easy ease out. And then right click on your last one and keyframe assistant and go to easy ease in. And let's go back to the speed graph and see what happened. You'll notice that I'm looking at the value graph because I think that's really nice. Speed graph is also beneficial when you want to look at the speed of everything and this is kind of more similar to Premiere Pro. For example, if I drag the left hand line to the middle and my backhand keyframe to the middle as well, you'll instantly notice that we have this graph that looks like it's really high in the center and slows down. So what that does is, if we play back, our clip should be very slow, almost too slow because we don't have enough frames per second and then all of a sudden it's going to be lighting fast and then back down. So that's the basic terms of how to create a speed ramp within After Effects. But let's play this knowledge. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to delete my time remapping. So I want to transition from this clip right here into this clip right there so what I'm going to do is actually create a speed ramp up and speed ramp down into these clips for start is going to our first clip right click select time enable time remapping as soon as you do that again we have these keyframes right here that reference our time how do we speed ramp up right here well it's get a little complicated and this is where you are going to have a play around with stuff so what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a keyframe where I want to speed ramp to start to happen on this clip. So I think right here is a good point. So I'm going to come over here to the left hand side and select add or remove keyframe. And then what I'm going to do is actually drag this keyframe at the end closer to that keyframe right here. And I'm going to drag this video clip into the end like so. Now if you play this back, you'll see that it will be normal speed, really fast and then stops. So what do you want to do, manipulate this right here. So what I typically like to do is, right click on my first keyframe, go to keyframe assistant, easy ease out. Right click on my last keyframe, keyframe assistant, easy ease in. Now once you do that, we can go look at our speed graph by hitting the plus sign. What I want to do is, I want this to be smooth speed ramp and I want it to be really quick when it's ending. So I'm going to drag this right hand keyframe to the right 
so if you play this back it should be smooth and then really fast the fun thing about this speed ramp with an after effect is that you can actually change them so i can click and drag this beginning keyframe to the right you'll notice that it starts a little bit faster because i like that really fast look so you can adjust these however you want and move them all over the place one thing to keep in mind is this keyframes represent a movement in time so I like the look of that right here. And then I need the next video layer that I'm going to transition into. So let's pull on this clip right here. So again, we are going to the right click, the second layer, go to the timer remapping. And we already have one keyframe at the beginning and one keyframe at the end. So let's just scroll forward to where we want our speed ramp to stop. So I think somewhere right around here, looks good. And we are going to create another keyframe by clicking the add keyframe button right here and then let's simply drag this to the beginning a little bit just so it looks about the same distance and play this back you'll see right away it's very choppy and it doesn't look the best so what I'm going to do is right click on our first keyframe go to keyframe assistant and go to easy ease out right click on our second keyframe and go to easy ease in now let's click on the graph editor and start to look at our speed ramp we know that we want the speed to be super fast in the beginning and then slow itself down so i'm going to drag this left hand keyframe to the left and i'm going to drag my right keyframe to the left a tiny bit so it's like fast and then gradually slow down. I would recommend playing around with the speed graph and the value graph because the value graph is kind of fun to look at over time. For example, we just adjust the speed but look at over time what the speed is doing. So sometimes you can click and drag this down to actually match that speed graph into the time. So it's very seamless. So definitely check out the value graph. All right, let's play this back and see what we made. So right away it looks clean like they transition together and these clips are going at different angles. As you can see this one is panning to the left side and this one is panning to the bottom. So you can play around with some defect like flop. I'm going to the effect panel and find the flop. If I drag the flop onto this right here, you'll see that is actually matches right motion. A little bit more. So keep playing around with that and one thing to keep in mind when you are transitioning two clips together that you want them to be blended a little bit seamlessly and one final tip right click go to the new adjustment layer and drag this adjustment layer to the top over all your video clips and go to the effects panel and type in CC force motion blur as soon as you drag that into your clip watch what happens I will untoggle it and you can see there is no motion blur and then I will retoggle it and check it out. After Effects creates motion blur where there are lots of motion. So for example, if a person isn't moving, it won't have lots of motion in it. So if we play this back, it looks like this. Well, that was a seamless speed ramping and it looks awesome. Pretty cool. And this is the way how I'm gonna speed ramping in Adobe After Effects perfectly. I'm so excited to see what you guys have done with my tutorial. Please post your link in my comment section. I'm gonna do tutorials here and there. I hope you liked the video and got something out of it. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, Twitter. I'll see you guys on next video. Peace.